Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to be doing some burnt ends on the pit barrel cooker, and we're gonna be using a pork belly. So stick with us and we'll get started. All right, here is our pork belly. We got this from Matador Prime Steak. It's got a lot of nice marbling, a lot of nice fat, and just a good mixture all around that we're gonna be using for these burnt ends. So first of all, what we're going to do is we want to go ahead and get started on cutting these up. And we're going to try to go for about two inches, uh, two inch squares, because uh, these are going to shrink up with all the, the fat that's in there. So they're going to shrink up pretty, pretty much to get those nice bite-sized pieces that we're looking for. So we're going to start across here first, and we're going to go all the way down. We're looking at, again, about two inches. Hopefully we can get them right at where we need them. So we're going to go across, all the way across here, and then we'll go across and make the cubes from there. Now that we have them cut up this way, we're going to turn them to the side and cut them into cubes. This nice knife from Tua Cutlery does a great, great job. So let's go in here and see if we can kind of eyeball this. That's kind of what you want to look for, for about that size. Again, all that fat is going to shrink them up. So we'll finish getting these cut up and then we'll season them. All right, we got our pork belly cubed up. We're going to be using 5-0 rub by Code 3 Spices. This is a sweet and zesty type uh, rub. Now guys, if you're not familiar with Code 3 Spices, go check them out. Um, they are very supportive of like first responders, military, a portion of their sales go to those different organizations. I really would like for you guys to go check them out and support them and help them to be able to support these fine organizations that we need here in our country each and every day. So let's go ahead and season these up. I don't have any binder because there's a lot of fat. They're very sticky already. So we're going to go ahead and just add these like they are. Get us a really nice coating all the way around. We got them all seasoned up. What we're going to do now is just kind of let them rest a little bit and sweat some. And then we'll get them out on the pit barrel cooker. Go ahead and get our pork belly on. I've used a couple blocks of cherry wood in there. I think that will give us some great color, some great flavor as well. We'll go ahead and put these on. And this little basket I picked up from Walmart, it's a stainless steel basket, it works pretty neat. Just fits right in there perfectly. You can lay them on the edges if you need to, to make sure you get plenty of cooking and smoke around them. So we're gonna put these back on and we're going to Keep an eye on these. Uh, the pit barrel is running around 270 to 275. So, I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to take quite yet, but we'll keep it monitored and let you guys know how we're doing. All right, we're about two and a half hours into the cook, and hopefully you can see how that, you can just mash those in. They're very tender. So we're gonna get these in the house, put them in a full pan. Better look at them, and you can see they're real, real tender. Got some nice color on that from that rub, and then the cherry wood. So we're gonna go ahead and put some brown sugar on this. Get us some honey on here. And then we're gonna take some, it's about a stick and a half of butter. We're gonna place it all around in here. Now we just put this top on it, seal it down all the way around good, and get it back on the pit barrel for an hour. Here's how they look now after an hour. 
They've been braising. They're, man, they're so, so tender. And just basically fall apart like they are now. They're nice. What we're going to do now is take and transfer these into a clean aluminum pan. All right, we got them transferred. And I'm going to add just a little bit more seasoning. Just a little bit, not much. And we're going to top them off with the Patriot sauce by Code 3 Spices. This is their St. Louis style sauce. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could smell how good these are. We're going to mix these up, get them back on the pit barrel for maybe 15 to 30 minutes, and then we'll give you guys a taste test. All right, here's our final product here. Look at all that goodness. Just, oh my gosh, guys. I wish you could smell this and try it with me. All right, here we go. talking about pork candy heaven guys that is amazing mm. you've got to try this really easy to do I promise you show more station below give you all the information that I use today this is absolutely unbelievable I don't know what else to say but it, it's amazing guys try it you will be glad you did. Had some awesome flavors there. Code 3 Spices, you guys do some wonderful job with your spices and your sauces. Combination of those together are definitely competition worthy. For some reason, guys, if you're not subscribed, I hope you will consider subscribing. We thank you for being with us, and God bless.